Okay, I'm going to go over how to label transient and recurrent states in a Markov chain. So let's say you start out and you have a transition matrix. And the first thing you want to do is draw the transition diagram from this transition matrix. You know that let's say that it's A, B, C, D states on this side, and then of course A, B, C, D states across that way. Um, you would know that A connects to A, A connects to B, and A connects to D, and so on. So the transition diagram would look something like this. Once you have drawn the transition diagram, you can determine the irreducible and closed sets. So basically, the closed sets are the sets that you cannot leave once you've got come in them. So for example, once you go into the set of D and C, there's no way to leave because you will just continually cycle through states D and C. Um, irreducible sets are set, uh, sets where all of the states in those sets are connected to each other. So for example, in this D and C again, D and C are connected. So you need to find the sets that are both irreducible and closed. In this example, the set D and C is the only example of that. So DC is noted. Then step four is to determine all of the recurrent states. All of the recurrent states are the, all of the states that are in any set that is both irreducible and closed. So in this example, it would be D and C. And then the last step is to determine that all other states are transient. So that shows A and B are transient.